Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Pretty special beer here. A beer from the Great Divide Brewing Company out of Denver, Colorado, and this is their Yeti Imperial Stout in a can. No less, there you go. In a can, then, it's a 355ml, I guess, being an American style can. Um, coming at 9.5% ABV and 75 IBUs. I've had this beer twice before. Um, I had it in 2015, I think I reviewed this, so this is a re review, if you like. Um, in a bottle, I had that, and I had it in 2016, which was a eight year old bottle. So, yeah, so from, yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, pretty good beer, what I remember. So, this is our third and final beer of Good Beer Live, so I've already had a taste of this beer, so, but I'm not going to let on. So I've got a bit more left in the can, so let's just pour it in really aggressively and see. Yeah, it didn't really come out and create much of a head, but then it's 9.5%. Some some give a lot more than others, but I've got a splash on the leg then from uh, the beer. But yeah, beer in the glass, it's jet black. Um, I swirl it around a bit, and you can see the colour of that kind of, yeah, like a real kind of deep, kind of, um, what do you call that? Yeah, like almost like a moose-coloured head. Um, Chocolatey, real dark kind of yeah coffee almost not not quite to the the um, hot chocolate kind of mousse but yeah that that kind of thing so yeah it looks fantastic there's a little bit of alcohol legs and then then proteins hanging onto the glass there some really tightly packed bubbles so let's get a, an aroma on this bad boy <sighs> yeah Lots of dark baker's chocolate. I mean, this beer has been out in the fridge for a fair while now, so it's definitely at room temperature. It's been quite a warm day now in the UK. It's the 20th of April. I'd like to thank um, Honest Brew for sending me this beer. Um, this was part of a Good Beer Live. I'll put links down below, Good Beer Live. Um, I'm not sure if this beer will be available uh, by the time I actually post this review um, I'm going to leave it a while so by the time you see this it could be like June or July or whenever we'll see so uh, but yeah back to this beer let's get into it cheers god this beer this beer it's one of them Classic American stouts in my eyes. This beer has almost got no proper adjuncts in it at all. Um, going through the commercial description, I've done a little bit of kind of digging around, and uh, yeah, it's just the classic American stout. It's just fantastic. It really is. There's chocolate notes galore. That's the that's leading. It's the front runner on the on the taste. There's that little bit little bit of tobacco, kind of leatheriness. A little bit of kind of burnt roasted malt coming through. Not so much in the dark fruits or anything like that. There is a little bit of coffee on the back end, but it's not prevalent for me. It's that kind of almost like burnt chocolate. If that makes sense, but it's silky smooth, wonderful mouthfeel. There's not much hint of the ABV at all on the palate for me. Um, it's just a fantastic beer, it really is. And now it's in cans, it's like wow. I've not had any of the other versions of this beer, although I would love to try them. Um, I know the, um, the American. Great American Beer Festival was held in Denver, Colorado, so I don't know what proximity the festival is from the brewery. Um, one day I'd love to go out there and, and, and try 
some of some of their beers on tap for sure. Um, and, and, and go to the festival, of course, but it's quite pricey. If, you, I mean, if you're coming from the UK, then yeah, you're going to do the whole thing. Um, it's going to cost you a, a fair bit, but I'd love to do it one year. Just just get the experience, you know. But yeah, look at that. The lacing it leaves as you rock it and knead it. Yeah, it's just brilliant. It's like a log fire sometimes you look into these beers. I've said it m many a time before. But yeah, it's just kind of memorising. Really nice. I was scared of beers like this about three or four years ago. The ABV. Oh, how am I going to drink this on my own? It's a big beer, you know, that, that kind of nonsense. Um, but I don't drink as much anymore. And I didn't then, two or three years ago. But before that, I was just a lager drinker, drinking lots, lots, lots. And I'm thinking, oh. And then, you, oh yeah, you don't session these. So it's kind of one of them learning, learning curves. Learning curves? Yeah, definitely learning curve. But yeah. Just a, a brilliant beer. So I'm, I'm waffling. I'm going to give it a rating. Fantastic beer. Um, for me, this is a it's a nine out of ten beer um, for style and enjoyment for sure. So it's a four point five on Untapped. Over to Untapped then. It had a total of uh, one hundred seventy one thousand. Uh, actual check-ins and it's had 717,000 ratings it's coming in at 3.94 so that's, that's a pretty that's pretty much an 8 out of 10 so over a hundred thousand people think this is an 8 out of 10 ish levels it all out so um, that's pretty impressive beer but yeah it's a good beer to age I know that for sure so if you're gonna buy this beer if you can find it in the UK buy more than one yeah, buy three or four if you can afford it. Drink one fresh or whenever you get it, and then age the other three, and then see how it changes. That's what I'd do. Um, but I know that at was it seven or eight years of aging on this beer, it was phenomenal. Um, and I think I gave it on on tap to ten out of ten. I, I can't remember, but this is still a fantastic beer. I don't know when was this canned. December the 26th of 2017, so there you go, it's just, um, yeah, we're about almost four months old in the can, so uh, yeah, check it out, Great Divide Brewing Company, this is their Yeti Imperial Stout at 9.5% ABV. Thanks to Honest Brew again, and I will see you on the next review. Cheers.